Hello. There we go. Making sure my mic is working. Okay. And I noticed uh, I uh, implemented a stream starting soon picture finally, but then I forgot to add all the alerts and stuff to it, so nothing's popping up. Uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Gigantosaurus Rex. And I will take a look at that message after this. I only have a one PC setup, so I can't really do both. But I will definitely take a look after the stream. And once again, thank you for the follow. And it's been a week since I streamed. Oh, I need to... I need to get back into this. I need to learn how to ramble again. All right. Let me see if this actually works. Hey, it worked. Look at that. One step closer to being somewhat professional. Oh, and uh, good news. I have installed a controller mod. Look, I can use the D-pad. That means I might actually be able to aim a little bit. Although... The, the mod might not be perfect with the aiming, possibly. So we'll see. It's, it's probably going to be better. And, and the cool thing is it didn't mess up any mods. I uninstalled the texture mod, installed the controller mod, then reinstalled the texture mod. Everything seems to be okay. If the game explodes at some point, we'll know why. And I thought about lowering the difficulty, but since I have a controller now, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying. I'm keep trying on the uh, what? What difficulty am I on? Nope, nope. <laughs> uh, it's the one before. Oh, man, you think I would know this? Hardcore. So you got insanity, which I'm not doing as an engineer, and then hardcore, and then veteran, which is what I did on Mass Effect One. So I'm still sticking with hardcore. Now, normally, if anyone see my Mass Effect One stream, um, whenever I unlock side quests, I do them all. I literally had like three streams in a row in Mass Effect 1 where I just did nothing but side quests. This is going to be a little different. I want to get as many characters as I can before I'm potentially forced to do extra stuff to progress the story along, to make to do the, uh, the mission triggers. Because I want to use everyone evenly. Something I haven't done in a very long time in this game. I did it in one and really enjoyed it. I, th I talked with a friend of mine. I think I'm even going to... Uh, look... I'm terrible at naming stuff, okay? But I'm going to attempt to come up with some decent pairings of teams and try to, like, name them, like, team whatever. You know, I'll try. Commander, I'm bad at it. A new message at your private terminal. Already? Oh, look at that. Oh, perfect way to start off the stream. Reading. Uh, Talitha. Oh, that, yep, I remember her. Uh, I don't know if you remember me. Well, I do. I just said I did. I had a gun and you stopped me from hurting myself. My doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me I could get a message to you. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I am getting better. They put me in a special school, and they say I'm doing good. Uh, the doctors say that other people here are getting uh, taken like are getting taken like I was. Oh, she's talking about the collectors. Okay, I was confused for a second. Well, she isn't lying. She's just a little behind schedule, maybe. But hey, she was right this time. Uh, I hope you can find a help. Uh, God, this is not a good way to start the stream out. I I hope you can help them like you help me. <laughs> I need to warm up my brain. A gift of words. Oh, oh well, here we go again. The gift of words from the consort. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect. An embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet, you yet survive. Barely. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head towards an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely on your own strength. Okay. Uh, take whatever steps you must to endure those battles at your... T wow. <laughs> to ensure that those battles, those battling at your side, fight with clear minds and glad hearts. This is why I need to warm up a little bit before I start reading. Nope, oh, one more. You and Garrus are alive? Oh, it's from Chloe. Mich Dr. Michel. Uh, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy. And those people who didn't make it off in time. Yep. Rip Presley and the others. Uh, after you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you were still here to protect... That you were still here to protect those of us who have grown depend to depend on both of you. 
Is Garrus with you again by any chance? Yes, he is. After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wonder if he perhaps might have ended up with you. I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the com address I had for him works anyway. Because he hasn't returned any calls. Oh, that's not nice, Garrus. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them uh, to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. And he's just ghosting her. Anyway, if you know uh, where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by next time you're on the Citadel. Unfortunately, I don't think she's there. Thanks for lying to me. Uh, and once again, I'm 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 fighting my my uh, how I play games here. I'm not doing side stuff until I at least finish recruiting the last two people. Normally, I do stuff as soon as I can. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm in the system where I helped Kasumi. You know, it's kind of cool they added the ability to move the ship around in space. Oh, like, I kind of wish there was more to it. Oh, no, oh, that was just my fuel at half capacity. Edie trying to tell me something. Okay, go. <laughs> Yeah, normally I like to clear these up as fast as possible. But, time to get the convict. If I, if I can even see it. There it is. I don't, I don't like the clutter. Maybe that's part of the reason why I take care of the side missions first. Okay. Oh, even more reading to start things off. This is planet Arun Mila. Hmm, not a bad name. A medium-sized gas giant. Arun Mila is close enough to its parent star to suffer massive changes in temperature during its day and night periods. This leads to powerful convection currents and storm th storms throughout its hydrogen-helium atmosphere. Oh, hello, Ninja. I would say I haven't seen you in a while, but I haven't streamed in a bit, so... Uh, gathering Helium-3 to refill is possible for the hardiest of exploration craft, but less lesser ships are nearly always lost in the attempt. Oh. Going to a dangerous gas station. Arun Mila is within the frost line of its solar system where icy co uh, colored, yes, icy colored, icy cored gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it is believed to be an extrasolar planet captured by its star's gravity. That happens a lot in space, apparently. But uh, how 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 is your uh, day night? I, I don't I don't know what time it is for you. <laughs> it's seven o'clock here. No, oh, I could have scanned it. I seriously doubt I'm going to find anything of use. Nope. Also, if you notice, um, you can see the mouse cursor sometimes, like right there. It is pointless because I have a controller and I can't even do anything with this right now. I'm going to just uh, move it out of the way there. There we go. How about planet Erinly? Sure. Erinly is a garden world in its last stages of habitability. While its soil still supports agriculture, its animals, uh, its animal biodiversity has fallen to record lows and the most successful remaining life is toxic blue-green algae. We'll go right ahead. Well, yeah, well, yeah, why not? Um, last week, I had one day where I slept... Oh, what was it? I slept, like, 14 hours, and then I went to bed after only being up for, like, 8 hours, and then I got up, and then I got, like, 14, like 12 hours of sleep again. I was really tired for some reason. Hello, waffles and or syrup. How is your night going? I think. Uh, oh, it's, a, oh, it's a, a large Solarian colony. It's trying to restore biodiversity to the planet, but setbacks are a fact of life. Mineral and fuel mining remains lucrative, however, and Erin Lee has a thriving spaceport that refuels many ships passing into the Terminus systems. Oh, good. So it's a dying planet. That's not nice. Uh, oh boy. Aganju. Sure. Aganju is an extremely large rock planet with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Abundant in both copper and platinum, the crust has been scanned by mining bots from Aaron Lee, but the specialized equipment to work in Aganju's heavy gravity, more than 5 Gs, a little heavy, has created... Uh, has created Prohibitive costs, and so the planet is largely unexplored. 
Now, this is a planet that you could definitely probably land on in Mass Effect 1. I kind of miss that. And once again, I forgot to scan it. Come on. Come. There we go. Nothing. Okay. Once again, I do need to scan in my... Man, I've completely forgot to do that. Oh, I could have done that last week. Just have a little bit to just scan and get resources. I need to do that. I'm running on empty on a lot of stuff. Ooh, big Jupiter planet. Olenkun. Olokun. We'll go with Olokun. Uh, Sky Harvest, huh? Is a standard gas giant composed of hydrogen and helium. The spacefarers from en Erinly gather helium-3 from here rather than... <laughs> Stop with the planets. Orunmila, as its atmosphere is much more predictable. And I forgot to scan again. I will do that eventually. Okay, nothing. Generally, you're not going to find many... Like, unlike Mass Effect, where there's always, like, a planet in a system to land on... I think in this game, it's just sometimes you scan stuff and get stuff. That's about it. I kind of miss it, but I talked about that last time. I like the streamlined missions in this game because it focuses more on the mission environment itself. It does a better job with it. It's more fleshed out. In Mass Effect 1, half the missions were just driving around on the planet's surface. So I, I like both. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an art ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners. That's... Oh. Kind of sucks. Uh, I guess it makes sense, though. Now it is used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Yeah, well, in the first game, you had a chance to get, like, gases and stuff. In this game, it's, it's nothing. Like, you're, you're never going to find anything. There's going to be that one time you find something in orbit, like stuck or something, and that's it. And in this game, all the resources are minerals, so... It's probably not worth going to the core of a gas giant to get resources. Uh, rumors abound that the Blue Suns turn, uh, turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers. Well, I hate this place now. Uh, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it as nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Sounds like a fun place to go. So we're going to recruit Jack. Not one of my favorite characters in the game. I, I do like her. I like her more in 3. Because uh, I'm less scared of her in 3. Now, I said that I would use people evenly, and I haven't used Garrus that much yet. And you know what? I'm also going to decide this based on how I did in one, where it's like, what, where am I going? I'm going to a prison colony. I would like some muscle, so I'm going to bring Garrus. I would also like some tech, because, you know, maybe I need to uh, escape for some reason. Hmm. Well, hey, in a whole galaxy, chances are think some things are going to be named the same. You know, if I was a creative person, I would think this, but I'm not. But it's one of it's kind of one of those things where when you get an idea for something, and then you see someone else do it, it's like they didn't steal it. It's just sometimes people's brains just, just kind of think of the same thing. Oh, the fact that it's blue suns and there's a lot of uh, Turians and blue suns, and it's named after a human thing. Hey, we don't talk about that. The, fa the fact that aliens and games name their stuff after human stuff, well, it's just not, you know, it's, it's a thing. We'll just, we'll just ignore it. So I'm going to bring Kasumi. If I have to break someone in or out of a jail, I'm bringing her. This is a little tech heavy, but should be okay. Uh, and by the way, last last uh, stream, I got the Locust, which is so much better than the Shuriken. I mean, is it is it a little shady that the elusive man is making us pick up a prisoner that he bought? Yes. But from what we hear, uh, Jack is pretty powerful. Again, not one of my favorite characters to even use. She's so frail. Being a biotic powerhouse, she is so frail. Her, like, her, Morden, and me would be the frailest team in existence. 
Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Once again, uh, you'll remember correctly, when we went to Novaria in Mass Effect 1, the choice was, I will comply, i rather not, and no. But in Mass Effect 2, this game takes place in such a gritty part of the universe, or galaxy. Oh, look at our choices now. No and hell no. Yeah. It's kind of like the, the thing of Mass Effect, where characters tend to be, in, in my opinion anyway, much better the second time they're used. Makes sense. They've had a whole game to, to figure it out. Like Tally and Garrus, I like them way more in this game than the first one. Even Zaid. Zaid in Mass Effect 2 is just like a one-dimensional, just bad guy. But then in 3, I love him. That, that scene with the crane game. I love that scene. But I, I'll, I'll tell him politely no. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiram, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Duh, I am Spectre Man. I'm keeping my weapons. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Oh, oh, oh. Let them proceed. Oh. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fun's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. I like how the prison has out processing for just purchasing. It's like, oh, we don't sell prisoners. Too. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. This place makes me nervous, but it, Each I, it kind of makes sense. Each self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. I have to admit, this this place is uh, it's pretty uh, runs pretty well. The idea of putting a prison in space is such a good one, because where do they go? They have nowhere to go. I have so many, so many sci-fi stories have used that. There's an episode of Star Trek Voyager that uses it, where once they realize they're in space, it's like, well, like, where are we going to go? Are you talking about Kasumi creeping on Jacob? Uh, let's find Can out you tell stuff. me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you? Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. And also make money selling prisoners. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Oh, I'm kind of torn with this guy. He sells prisoners as weapons. And then when he catches uh, criminals, he's like, hey, uh, you owe me a million credits. I'm like, we don't have that kind of money. I'm not going to pay that. It's like, oh, oh, my mistake. Um, And then a couple days later, you, just, you call back and it's like, by the way, uh, we happen to lose that prisoner um, just somewhere on your planet. Don't know where. And it was like 12 hours ago, so who knows how many people they've killed since then. But again, we're in the Terminus systems, so. Let's get on with this. Bet it'd be hell trying to escape from this place. I'm sure you could do it, Kasumi. In space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. 
We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Boy, he seems like a trustworthy friend, doesn't he? All right, well, let's just uh, let's just uh, keep going then. Oh, Batarians are here, huh? All right. Well, torture. These are some sick freaks. Huh. <laughs> is there something I can do for you? Being a jerk in this game is is really fun, but that's not this playthrough. That's 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 for later. There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Mm, valid point. Still, this degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Your package will be at out processing just down the hall. Okay. Hey. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Yeah, it's such a big change. One, it's just like, even though you go to planets that are messed up in one, it still has that pristine kind of feel to it, like that space, everything's okay kind of feel, in a sense. This place, no. Terminus system is like the Wild West. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. I wonder if he has a brother named Jimmy. You know, the only other time I've ever heard the name Bimmy was that was the double dragon thing they're going at it pretty hard do they ever kill prisoners by accident I haven't heard of anyone dying warden can't make money off us if we're dead funny thing though the more a guard does it the meaner he gets so they rotate him through so what are you in for I killed a few people only about 20 or so and I blew up that one habitat small time compared to most of the guys here What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I, I just want to get out of here now. I don't, I don't like this place. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I should go. Wish I could go. Well, see a prisoner uh, 780. He's killed 20 or so people. He blew up a habitat, and that is small stuff. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. I mean, at least I, he, he okay then. He has a friend then. That, that that moment where you realize the voice in your head can be your friend, you know, it's cool. You're not alone. Now I yeah, I go this way. I think. Yep. Out processing's through the door on the far side of the room. Nope, yep, that was weird. Now I need to get used to using a controller again. <laughs> It's like I was trying to get used to using a keyboard and failing. Now I get to use, get used to using a controller again. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. 
Now, see, now I get that. I get the peaceful solution and the hell no. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Yeah, you tell him, Shepard. Shepard's done nothing wrong in the past. I got Renegade for that. Come on. Look, I can all I've already hit more bullets in this one fight. Ow. Look at how much better I'm doing. Sort of. Actually, I might want to turn the sensitivity up a little bit. I'm having problems uh, moving enough. Oh, that's incinerate. <laughs> I do need to learn the mapping of my abilities, though. <clears throat> oh, oh, I forgot they can change. They can, uh, the fire can spread. It's kind of fun. Burn. Sweet. Oop, doggy. Oh, he was still alive. Yeah. Can I turn... I don't think I can actually turn the sensitivity up because this game wasn't built for a controller. I don't think it'll give me that option. Maybe... I mean, I can go from medium to high. Let's find out what that means. Get ready. All right. It actually doesn't feel any different. <laughs> oh well, I'll get used to it. Come on, shield to fail. Was that Shepard that said crap or somebody else? Um, hold on. Uh, guys, okay. All right, I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Oh, okay, well they're just marching on me. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, everyone. Look at me go. I'm gonna die. I am. Yep, there I go. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! And let me guess. Hold on. Let's take a guess at when the autosave was. Was it when I landed on this place? Let's find out. Okay, it's right here. That's not bad. My apologies. Drop your weapons. I'm pretty sure on the console version, it's when you land here. Boy, I can't wait till that savey mode is uh is approved so people can tell me to save the damn game. That wasn't so bad though. Oh, don't say that. Now I feel old. Oh, I grew up watching Rugrats and Ninja Turtles and Mighty Morphin Power. Oh, now I'm just gonna oh and, and Bagel Bites and and, and uh, Bop it. What else can I think of? Yeah. Go Blitzball. Oh, you... He killed Blitzball in one hit. Now you see me. Wait, 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 wait. When you say Ninja Turtles live... Do you mean, like, watching one of the Ninja Turtle movies in theaters? Or do you mean, like, that actual live show? <laughs> I never got to go to that. I'm sure it was awful even for kids. But I, I do remember seeing, um, I watched the first Ninja Turtles movie in theaters. I remember going to see it. And I was four. Gotcha. That was in 1990, I believe. Oh, that moment when you realize that moment when you realize that when you're talking about something that that came out in the year 2000 was 20 years ago. When I think something came out in the year 2000, I don't think 20 years ago. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Oh, good job, Kasumi. Oh, I can do that now. So I, I couldn't figure out the button to do this on PC. The uh, the objective thing. 
So I got that. I got that. This, this, this mod actually did a pretty good job because it maps all the buttons, layouts and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't change this from Y. I do not like that the ability of the class is locked into Y forever. Of course, it kind of depends on the ability. Like Biotic Charge, I like to be able to aim while I'm doing it. This is fine. Little robot guy. You get back. Now these guys like to uh, be a little gut. What is he? I don't know what he's doing, but I'll take it. He's he's just shooting through a wall. Where are my teammates, by the way? Garrus. Garrus. You can come on. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can move it in, here, which is good. Okay, that hurt just a little bit. I can't roll. Do you know how many times I've tried to roll since I've been even just this little bit since I've used a controller? I'm trying to tap it to roll and I can't. This will bring them down. The locust is so much better than the shuriken. I love it. Speaking of that, first off, Garrus, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, you're a sniper. Use the sniper. And I want you to use a pistol because I'm using this. I'm on it. Switch up. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't have it yet. I want some ammo. The one bad thing about Engineer, you don't get any ammo. If I was doing a new game plus, I would definitely give this class armor-piercing ammo. I know you have Incinerate to deal with that as well, but armor piercing's good against everything almost. I think warp ammo is worse than armor piercing and armor, but it's better against biotic barriers, so it's I, I think it kind of evens out. Shepard, if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. Yeah. Chaos. Oh, anyone who saw the uh, the FMV like cutscene thing of Mass Effect 2 when it was first coming out remembers this scene. This is one of the scenes that it shows during that movie of uh, Jack being let out. I think it shows Thane, too. That's Jack? I think Grunt, yeah, when Grunt's fighting the uh, the Thresher Mall. I will admit, when I first played this game, I was not expecting Jack to be, well, this. I mean, I mean, ammo types are just nice to kill stuff faster. That's about all it does. We have to get down there. Although I think in three it has the added benefits, like a disruptor ammo in three, I think has the chance to like stun, like overload does. I don't think it can do that in two. They're I don't think. Jack. Let me take a look. Oh, he has armor piercing. Never mind. I thought he had. I thought he had electric for some reason. Okay, well I'll check later. Prison break. This mission's pretty short, but it's fun. I'll take it. Just like everything in Shepard's life, it just goes to hell, doesn't it? Nothing goes as planned. Jack is going to murder Sector everyone seven, on the way out. Nine and eleven have lost life support. No survivors. Well, yeah, that is true. At least she'll be easy to track. Can I? Can I go here? Can I go here? No, no, I can't. Okay. Go Blitzball. Yeah. God, he dies so fast. I gotta get some points in him. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> I just burned dead body. Probably not the most messed up thing people do in the Terminus system. Oh, I think I see the main threat now. Alright, I think... Did I hit the wall or him? <laughs> I don't, um, I don't roleplay games that much, especially when I'm just playing by myself. But whenever I play a non-biotic class, which is most of the time, I don't take a biotic bonus of it. I just find it weird. By the way, how are the sound effects in this fight compared to, like, me talking, I guess? 
is the baseline. Is it too loud? And should I turn down the sound effects a bit or just leave it as it is? Because again, the audio thing is like the one thing I have a problem with. All right. Oh, oh, here it comes. Big boom. Big boom. It's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. That might have been a little loud. <laughs> yeah, audio I've always had an issue with. Doesn't help that my hearing isn't great. And unlike when I was doing YouTube videos, like, oh man, I hate to say a decade ago, you but... what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. Oh, Garrus. This kept maniacs away from innocent people. Yeah, but he also got off on beating people. So... <laughs> Look, for the Terminus system, this guy was a saint. All right? I get it. Come on! Yeah, it sounds so weird to say that I uploaded videos to YouTube a decade ago. It's like, oh, I, oh that's, I don't, that's not fun to think about. I'll just imagine that it isn't 2020. Well, I think it was still, I mean, not, as compared to now, it was great. Just threw my shield. Ow. And stay down. I never finished Mass Effect 1. I ended up getting a new computer while I was uh, while I was doing that stuff, and I lost my save file. Get a Blitzball, they're low on health. I'll just do this. Oh, that works. He's not dead. He ain't dead. Pew pew. But back when I was doing YouTube, I, I couldn't be like, hey, how does that sound? It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Oh man, you know what I should do is like a as a fun thing. Oh, I should make that a goal. Oh no, did I just think of a goal? Did I think of a goal that's gonna be embarrassing to me? No, oh, well, I guess that makes it good. What if for like a, like my next goal of like followers or whatever, um, I will I will stream my my first YouTube video that I made. Oh, that's going to be so bad. With my $20 mic and I was using Microsoft Movie Maker to, to uh, edit. Ooh. Oh, I'm sure it's terrible quality. <laughs> what is... I wonder what Twitch is... What are Twitch's rules on streaming? Like, because I've seen people stream, literally stream YouTube channels before that aren't even theirs. Technically, the video is mine. It's on YouTube and from a different channel, but it's mine. I could just stream VLC player, actually. You know what's cool? I actually still own a hard copy of every single one of my YouTube videos I, that I uploaded. It's on a, it's on um, an internal hard drive that I've had since then. Can I? Come on, come on, Shepard. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how that works. Does his family get some of that? Like, I don't, I don't know how that works. Oh, come on, Shepard. All right, I'm moving. Kasumi, I need this spot. Kasumi, Kasumi, thank you. You can cloak. I think you'll be fine. But yeah, even if even if I can, I own. I mean, that's the thing though. I own the video, but not the game that's being played in it, obviously. But that's the same thing as putting it up on YouTube or streaming a game. So. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. Ooh, good job, because oh, he's not dead. Never mind. Adequate job. He's just gonna stand there, huh? I see the uh, the guards aren't too bright here, which is probably why they're here. All right, <laughs> Kasumi with her Nelson laugh. Come on, poke out. Poke out. You know what? I'll make you poke out. You're still not poking out. There you are. No, nope, I missed. Nice Got him. Shot. 
But that would be the. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be Obi Wan. Look, this is this is this is this, this is starting to once again show my inability to talk and play at the same time. You'll notice that when I'm talking a lot, I'm not really doing anything. I need to get better at it. Ow! I'm seeing the veins. Okay. Now you see me. Part of the problem is I have to glance to my right to see chat. So it's like I'm trying to play this and look over here at the same time. And if I could see chat in front of me, it'd be so much easier. Oh yeah, I forgot. I thought I had the locust out. I just held down the button and shot once. Yeah, get him, Kasumi. You know, you're gonna die. Get out of here. Can I get the big boom again? I like the big boom. Oh, bad timing. Oh, that was bad timing. Ugh. See, a rocket to Garrus's face put him in uh, put put him in prison. It's because I'm in prison. Put him in the hospital. Uh, I took a rocket to the face and I'm fine. It's my visor. No, out of the way, guys. Okay. Now that's the thing. See, I should look around for stuff that I can scan. But just like, just like, just like my Final Fantasy X playthrough, I don't mind if I miss a thing or two. It's fine. Just playing through, you know. Shepard trying to get out of an exploding uh, prison ship probably wouldn't take the time to like loot all the bodies. So, doesn't mean I'm not gonna look around a little bit. That that canceled the voice line. Okay. Oh yeah, I said I would do. Uh, I said I would use more heavy weapons too. Uh, candy, candy. Fork, top, circle. Fork. So it's top, circle. Uh, top, cir circle. And there you go. Shepherd's Guide to Hacking. Match the candies. God, this is just a slaughter. He's probably enjoying it, too. You're valuable, Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. Does... I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Does this guy not realize that how much trouble he's going to be in when the elusive man finds out that he betrayed Even if I got out of, Even if I got out of here and that guy didn't die... Do you know how much the Elusive Man would just, just destroy his life? Okay. Well, I, uh, the thing is, I have a crappy, I have one of the crappy weapons on me. Oh, okay. Uh, Kasumi is dead. Oh, run. All right, Garrus, you shoot him and I'll just stay here. That missed. Good job, me. See, um, you know how in Mass Effect 1, most of the enemies were Geth? Literally, I, I would like to look up a percentage of how many enemies in Mass Effect 1 were Geth. Meaning the tech abilities were pretty good. In Mass Effect 2, lot of lot of lot of squishy enemies. I'm in trouble. Oh, there's someone down here. That's what's killing me. Okay. Nope. Nope. You're not gonna get me. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. Oh. I tricked him. Once, like I said, prison guards. In a place like this, not too smart. Where's Garrus? Oh, Garrus is over there. Okay. Good position. Good position. Oh. Wait a minute. You mean... Isn't that this? Oh! Oh, what the... Ah! Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. 
I'm super dead. I'm not dead. Oh, that almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that he has, isn't it? The rocket launcher. I mean, it has it has plenty of ammo for being a heavy weapon. What what the? Um. Rocket, why did you go that way? It doesn't really pack a punch, but it has a lot of ammo. What the? Um, get off the wall. I'm I'm so dead. Yep, I got stuck on the wall. I thought Garrus was still alive over there watching watching that side. He was dead. Look, I'm not saying all Tyrians look alike, but uh. Firing a high impact shot. That's the thing, though. I I haven't used heavy weapons. I've used heavy weapons so little in this game. I didn't know it honed in. That's why it was so confusing. <laughs> it's like, what, what just happened? All right, let's stick together, people. Well, who is that? Who is yelling? Here we go. Concentrate fire. Concentrate fire. Use ability. Shoot. Repeat. Can I hit that from here? I cannot, but I, maybe I can do this. Well, he attacked it once. All right. Thank you. Deployable cover. Convenient cover. Okay. Ooh. Akasumi's fun to have. My shields are down. Oh, this guy. This is a tough guy. I need to. I, I need to overload a little better, don't I? You make everything better. I've streamed this game twice, and I'm still at the beginning of the game. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the fact that I spent an entire two hours like in Kasumi's thing because I kept dying. You know, the Locust is better than the Shuriken, but it's still an SMG, so it, it doesn't quite pack a punch. Aha! Alright. One down. Ow. I can be a little, um, impatient with cover shooters, which sometimes is why you'll see me literally just die in cover, because I stick my head out too much. You notice Kasumi has that has that punch, the tech punch thing. This is before you could charge up your melee in Mass Effect 3. Like in this, it's just this little pathetic melee. Nope. No, 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 no. That's probably the guy that killed me last time. What's happening over there, guys? I can't see. Well, that's part of what I was talking about, where the missions in this game are streamlined. Whereas in Mass Effect 1, a lot of the mission was just driving around. You could call it filler, but uh, in this game, I think it feels like it's not as long as 1 because it's less driving. It's more combat, it's more action. But when you look at the time, it's like, wow, this is going to be even longer. So as, as far as, um, again, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy driving around in the Mako. It's fun. But this game has more quality than quantity. Like, there's, you know what I mean? Like, it, there's just more to it. And also, the combat is more fun. Now you see me. Get him, Kasumi. Oh, you went over there. And didn't... Okay. All right, well. Curve. D didn't work. Wow, he has a tough face. If it, I mean, look, the, 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 little, the little drone might not be doing a lot of damage, but I like it because it's just a discretion. It's basically decoy at this point. Are they all dead? They're all dead. All right, I'm going to work on his shield and everything else. Everyone else just shoot him. Also, the loyalty missions in this game, I, I love them. They have some variety to them in what you have to do. 
Uh, they're pretty long for being just like a standard mission. And they're fun because they involve the characters that you like. You get to learn more about them, their past. Even characters like Garrus and Tally, it makes you more connected to them. Like Garrus isn't even like Garrus doesn't even have combat. Garrus' loyalty mission is literally just a moral dilemma. And I love that for a character like Garrus. And Tally has both. Finish him off with a pistol in face. Oh, these guys made a mistake. Stop. I feel like even at this point, Shepard definitely has a reputation. I'm really surprised this guy thought he could take him out like that. Cerberus. You're welcome. What the hell do you want? <laughs> You're welcome. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to save you. You're in a bad situation and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. And this is where you kind of get the idea that, uh... I, I, uh okay. Have a, have a have a good night. You said you had a long day, so have a have a nice uh, relaxing rest of the day. Uh <laughs> Hmm. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. No. We're in a pressurized metal thing in space with a very powerful biotic in front of us. I, no, I don't, I don't want to fight her. She scares me. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Hmm. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. This is very Knights of the Old Republic. In Knights of the Old Republic, you can have options where you wouldn't get light side or dark side points because you lied. Like if someone was evil and it's like, help me kill this pe these people, and it's like, lie, okay. You wouldn't get dark side points for it. And it wouldn't lock you into the mission. So I kind of like the idea of doing this because then later it'll give you the option of just being like, no, you don't get anything. But what do I care? I don't like servers. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. Yeah, we got a new space friend. Ally. Scary person who likes to kill people. I'll, I'll take it. Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequence of interference. That's what I'm talking about. Do you, do you really want to backstab this person? Uh, I got a damage protection. Shotgun damage. That's good, I guess. Not for me. Now we get to go uh, get our Krogan boy. And I'm bringing Jack with me. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Please don't kill anyone. I kind of need everyone. Now, I've never actually read this, 
I'm assuming it's the case, but I'm sure that the fact that she's named Jack as well, she has to be based on the character from uh, the Riddick movies, right? Like Pitch Black. Wait a minute. Where's... Where's Jacob? Why? Why isn't Jacob here? This is weird. Jacob. I know it sounds weird, but I miss you. Never thought I'd say that. Hey, Morden. Shepard. You know where Jacob is? Have you got a minute to talk? Not now. Working on anything else? All right. We'll be here if you need. Haven't unlocked anything new yet. I would like to talk to Jacob. I know you want to say it, Kelly. Go on, say it. Say it. All right. Oh, well, that's why. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and if you talk to Joker, he'll tell you a little thing about each person you went on the mission with. I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back. But keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. Oh, we got plenty of room for crazy. I'm going after a Krogan next. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it That's around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. That line about Garrus is one of my favorite. It is true. Ooh. Haptic Adaptive Interface. Well, that sounds interesting. I'll read about that later. Why am I looking at the ground? Okay. Uh, Well, that's not true because Jacob's not here. I'm going to make sure that no one else has anything to say. I'm sure Jack will. Uh, I also will go back up there and look for Jacob again because for some reason he's just not here. Now this is going to be... Oh, no, there's Kasumi. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Now with Kasumi and Zaid, since they're DLC characters, you really don't talk to them. But they have like a set amount of voice lines they can say. And I think it changes up eventually. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's gray box. But it doesn't make it any easier. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Yeah, I can cook that. Come back later. Oh, well, sure that's I'll it. Have more to talk oh, about. I get to talk about all the stuff in her room. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, she has a bar in here for some reason. I guess it was the only thing left to put, like, left. She was the last character added. Gotta put her somewhere. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. I mean, it looks like it's from, well, I'd say Ilos. But it could just be from another Prothean type world. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. I think that's a pretty standard thing in the future in sci-fi in a lot of things where or like any kind of like future world that paper is rare and these like a, like a book would be rare. I mean, it's kind of already becoming that, isn't it? I had to buy a Kindle because there were some books I wanted to get, but I couldn't find actual copies of them for cheap because they haven't been printed in a while. And, but I could get them on digital for like five bucks. That's my favorite piece painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. 
I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. You might notice sometimes that when someone's talking, instead of like looking at the object she's talking about, for instance, I'm looking at her. It's because when I scream, I only wear one earbud out of a pair. That way I can hear myself talk and I don't like get too loud sometimes. And because of that, I only hear half the audio. So if I'm looking at it from like this direction, which I should have done probably, I can hear her okay. But if I do this, I can't hear it all because of the stereo uh, mix. I just, I don't like the, I don't like the, the, I like when you, it's kind of like when you cover your ears and talk and it sounds really muffled and you can't tell how loud you're talking. I, just, I don't like doing that. That is a interesting statue. Raka, rat. Can I hold on? Hold on. Raka, Rakish Reagan. I I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference to. Rakesh Reagan, Rang Rangan. I don't know who that is. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. And the funny thing about art, until they realize it's a fake, it's technically worth as much as the real one. That's what's weird about art. A rose. The red rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I kind of like the wet bandits. Although, being a master thief and trying not to be well-known, isn't it weird to leave a calling card? Because, I mean, that's mentioned in a kid's movie. <laughs> kind of teaching how kids had to become a had to become a criminal mastermind, you know what I mean? Like, it's, when you leave a calling card like that, it just kind of lets the police know every single one you did instead of being caught for just one. Can it be proven? Maybe not, but still. Oh, I got, I got your, I got your, I got your brandy. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Sure. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Look at the look, at the look on Shepard's oh, face. Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Aww. I miss Jenkins now. The rest, rest in peace, Jenkins and Presley. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Oh, we're getting we're getting into some deep stuff here. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Brolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. A toast. This is weird. A toast to friends. Okay. Toast to the Alliance. Right? Toast to the Fallen. Toast to Joker. I mean. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship. Even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you. 
Shepherd. Our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? That's our toast. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. And see, look, she had a, she had a personality in ME One, but doing something like this, it just it makes these characters so much better, more human. And she is passed out. Is this what it's like to be drunk? I wouldn't know. I've never been drunk. <laughs> What's this area of the ship? The drunk room. The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Thank you for telling me what the infirmary is. Garrus. The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. I see, there you go. I like Cerberus operatives you know, that are like, you know what? Aliens are cool. How can I help you, commander? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. Oh, I forgot to get that. Wait a minute. How did I forget to get that? How did I miss that? I went to all the different places. I won't take back any more. To work. Huh. Weird. I'm going to have to go back to the Citadel just to get food. It, when I when I go to like do errands and stuff like that, like grocery shopping, I don't go out unless I can do multiple things. I'm not if I forgot like I did a bunch of stuff that day and I'm like, oh, I forgot the milk. I, go, well, I guess I'm just gonna have milk for a couple weeks. I don't care. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for oh, a blah blah minute? blah? I'll be here. If you need. <laughs> Garrus, is it just me or does Garrus not have that? many lines of dialogue in this game on the ship. It seems like most of the time you talk to him, he's calibrating. Maybe that's on purpose because we got to talk to him a lot in the first one. I don't know. And the idea that Tally, you get Tally later. So you also have like less, a little bit of less time with her. But that, oh, that makes me so sad to think about Legion. I love Legion as a character, but he just gets no screen time. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Of course, Commander. All right. Well, I'm going to go talk to Jack. And then I'm going to talk to uh, Jacob if he's there. Taking a nap somewhere. That was really weird. He did like the keeper. Maybe he's like the keeper in Mass Effect 1 that's glitched. He's just in the ground somewhere. If I, I mean, come on. After looking around the ship, if you had to pick one place on the ship that Jack would feel at home in, this is it. I love how she come. I like how she's down here just on this cot. Hey, Jack, please don't kill me. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Good place to start. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Fair enough. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. I think this is just for Jack, though. Once again, it's one of those characters that only has, an, only has a special prototype thing that only helps them. Yep. I mean, 20% increase in damage is great. But I'm not going to use up that much of my Ezo to do it for one character. Let me know if you want oh, me to make I hit goodbye. <laughs> yep. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Now, Jack has an issue that Ashley and Liara kind of did in the first one, where if you're too nice to her, it can sometimes lock you into a relationship, sort of. And then one time I was playing on Xbox... I don't think I did anything wrong or it glitched or something, but I told her, like, I just want to be friends in a, in a nice way. And she told me in a not nice way to go away. And then every time I tried to talk to her after that, she just wouldn't talk to me. But then the next time I played through, she would. So I have to be careful here. What's in them? 
Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. But Jack, why, why would you want to know where they live? Oh, you probably just want to send like a, a letter, a stern letter complaining. You just need their mailing address. Okay, that's cool. I'll give you all their addresses. I'm sure everything will be fine. They won't turn up dead afterwards. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. Um, uh, we'll just, you know what? I don't think she's the kind of person that I want to be spouting my uh, be nice to everyone stuff. We're just going to be a little neutral to her. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. Look at that lighting. I love the, I love the, the lighting in Mass Effect. That silhouette of her just pulling out a gun. And the lighting down here, how it's all dark and red. Do you sound excited? You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. I can tell we're going to be friends. Um, hmm. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know... This ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. Mm, well, it's a thought. We can, we'll, we'll discuss this later. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. Uh, yeah. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim I should go. Yep. Now can I talk to her again? Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Aww. Yep. Jack, I, I will admit, Jack is, she might not be my favorite character in this game, but she she is a very interesting character. Originally, she comes off as just a psychopath, but when you get to, especially, I've actually never romanced Jack, but I've heard it's very interesting. You would you would assume she'd be romanced by a, a renegade shepherd, but from what I've heard, it's more of a paragon thing. Like, she opens up and, you know, that, that's all I know. <laughs> I haven't actually seen it. So can it. Did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. I wonder if there was a part in that last statement that worked for him. Uh -huh. All right, Jacob, are you uh, back from a break? You know, your nice little Cerberus break. I would like to talk to you. Is he there? Oh, look at that, he's there. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial, you and me. Already? Oh, hey, Something Silver. I'm forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Really, Jacob? Commander. I waited for you to come back from your break, leaving your post without saying anything, and then you okay, all right. Stop looking at the ground, Shepard. <laughs> One of the things that always bug me about this game, when you when you walk around the ship just looking down like that. Nope, nothing. All right, well, oh, I forgot to talk to her. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire. But her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, 
How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be that kind of makes sense. Anything. Jack has been used so many times. She throws stuff around like that just to see if people react to it. If people do, she probably isn't going to respect them. It's exactly what she just said. Like, I, I get that. I find that kind of stuff interesting. All right. And once again, I'm not doing side quests until I absolutely have to. So next up, time to get us a Krogan. AJ. And yes, Tuxedo Shepard. I'm Shepard. Commander Shepard. Because they can't say my first name. Okay, recruit the Krogan. You're just in time for the Krogan mission. Ooh, and you're just in time to hear me stumble over my own words. Uh, well, this stream... I have just gotten Jack. That's all I've done. This game is, like, deceptively long. The thing is, though, when games are long, sometimes they drag a little bit, and it's like, ugh, this, you know what I mean? Like, it's like it's taking forever. I've been streaming this game for a little over an hour, and I feel like I've barely played anything. In a good way. That's why I love this game. Happy spin. This is the planet. Oh, Salary. Because I butcher things when I pronounce them. Uh, Covis Solarian for Fire Maiden is a boiling hot dwarf planet close to the G-class star Amir. Amir. Uh, maybe? But that's something I'm probably going to binge when it's done, honestly. That's what I did with Discovery. I haven't even seen Discovery Season 2 yet. But yeah, you missed Jack. That's okay. She, I mean, hey... Went, went to prison. They tried to make me a prisoner. I killed them all. There you go. Um, it's too hot for lucrative exploitation. It's only satellites or defunct solar arrays destroyed by pirates long ago. Fun. <sighs> I swear. <laughs> okay. For the love of God, if anyone is still here when I end the stream tonight, remind me to fix that. I keep forgetting to fix that. I've been messing with a possible sub badge idea and stuff like that, but I keep forgetting to fix Nightbot. Anything in here? Anything in here? Uh, the planet... Quotus. A hydrogen helium... Ooh, there's a travel advisory on this one. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Quotus is used by countless spaceships to discharge their drive cores after coming into the system. Commercial vessels restock on their supplies of helium-3 from one of its many orbital platforms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I unlocked VIPs. I have ten of them. Well, you get ten of them. So, yes. Um, I actually don't know what it does. I think, I think, honestly, all VIP does, I think it bypasses, if I ever set the, if I would ever set the chat to, like, slow mode, or sub-only mode, I think it bypasses it. Oh, hey, music. Oh, thank you for the lurk. I need to add that command, too, with Nightbot. The lurk one. Why, thank you. It's, I mean, it's simple. It's the best I can do. You know what I mean? It, it's just a bunch of shapes. It's literally just, like, boxes. <laughs> boxes I can do if you want to get into artistic stuff nope and, and silver please please don't remind him of that uh, travel advisory piracy at helium 3 refueling station is common in the Imer system visitors are encouraged to use the escorts provided by the Corliss security fleet to and from the system's mass relay it has its own security force to prevent uh, escort fraud, always ask for identification from the escort ships and compare them to those found on the um, Corliss Security Fleet's extranet sites. Are oh, you gonna pick up? Gonna pick up the honey? Okay. I am assuming. <laughs> I'm really glad I made that an alert. <laughs> Thank you for the host. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And I'm still waiting for that emote to go through. Maybe you you do that. 
If you're if they're majority holder, it's that's your responsibility. It takes forever for them to approve the first emote, apparently. Oh, have fun eating. I'm I'm going to eat after I'm done streaming. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hungry. I made the mistake of not eating again before I started streaming. Doggy. It'd be funny. I'm not gonna do this, but just because I'm playing Mass Effect right now, it'd be funny if I if music if I took that emote and I like turned it into the robot dog that you fight in this game sometimes, like the little robot dog that is an enemy, and just have that be a head. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but uh Ooh, bits and hearts. That ever Damn, that's a lot of hearts. Look at all the hearts. Does it give me a... Oh. I was going to say thank you for the this amount, but it doesn't actually tell me. Uh, Well, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, one, two, three, four. That's 48. 60. Thank you for the 60 bits. Why did Twitch make me count that? Oh, wait a minute. That's right. You get VIP badges for actually reaching certain milestones, not becoming affiliate. That, okay, I remember that now. It has to do with how many viewers you have at one time, I think. But thank you for the bits. I, I forgot I could have bits now. And by the way, I don't know why it did that alert. I have a Mass Effect alert set for bits. I've even tested it several times. And yet... When people donate bits, it does the old school default one. I need to fix that. Ow, my face hurts. I went to rub my face and I forgot I shaved about an I shaved like 20 minutes before I started streaming. So my face is like it's cold. <laughs> it's a cold face. And also Bernie. Oh, okay, so it's followers and chatters. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, it's like it's the other ones of like, I think it's followers and or viewers or chatters. Um, do, 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 do. Wait, where did OK, never mind. I got that one. The planet Gregus, what a what a boring looking planet, uh, cold and distant. Yep. Gregus is currently 65% rock by mass and 35% frozen methane and nitrogen ices. In the planet's summer years, I bet it's warm. These percentages change as the sun heats its ice and evaporates into a thin atmosphere. Its calcium-heavy crust has been scouted by countless coreless surveying teams, most of whom came back empty-handed. So, pointless. This is... Now, I think it's funny. Every time I play this game and read about the planets, I want to go play No Man's Sky and re and look around every time. Uh, 20, 30, 20. Oh. I think I've come close to getting 20. I think at one point, I think my highest was like, like 15 or 16 over the course of like a long stream. That was a good day. Um, uh, I'm missing something. What? What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm actually asking now. <laughs> like, um, oh, is it that? Is it something in here? Am I just blind? My shepherd is blind and has a bad sense of direction. What am I missing? Am I just staring at it? It says I only have 75% looked at. Okay, there's that planet. Oh, I haven't gone to this. Pfft. I haven't gone to the one that I know about yet. Hmm. A garbage scow with a climate. Uh, dude, my shepherd, my shepherd's weird. All right. My shepherd's me. So my shepherd's weird. A garbage scow with a climate is how one uh, Citadel council member described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, the Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it the recycling center of the galaxy, corruption scandals, and the staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss image is per Wow, what a pan what a pamphlet that is. Uh, Corliss' biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, 
It is still a dirty business that chokes cordless sky with smog and fills its ports with me megatons of scrap. Yay! A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacular spectacle of urban decay. Oh, an advisory. Who would have thought? You're not in this fight alone. No! Thank you for the two gifted subs. One to Bob the Eskimo and the other two... Oh, Pilgrim got one. I will have to let him know that. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together. Okay, it actually moved. It was, a little, it was a little delayed, but thank you. That means I'm going to have to put more effort... Oh, I'm going to have to put more effort into the... Uh, into the sub badges. Because when you... When you gift... When people get gifted subs, they don't get the first one. Um, They get the... Uh, like the actual sub badge. So I need to make sure I get... The, I need to work on that more. But I won't be up till five in the morning tonight working on it this time. Okay. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems. What's the first? I'm assuming Omega? Uh, and first in off-world murder. Yep. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. Yeah, I'm good. Population is... Three billion. That is more than I expected. Huh. Oh, my sub thing went off. I, I was able, I listened to it so many times when I was testing it that that was my sub alert that I didn't get to hear yet. Hooray! You know, for a game that involves people joining your cause, I had a hard time finding a voice line that would fit that. Huh. All right, Jack is coming with me because I just got her. Oh, look at that! I can make her look like something. I mean, I guess that's cyberpunk-ish with sunglasses from Back to the Future. Eh, I'll just go with the original for now. And who else should I bring? You know what? I will leave it up to chat. Who should I bring to the garbage planet? I already brought Kasumi and Garrus. I mean, that's, they're fine, but do, do I want to bring Jacob to the garbage planet? <laughs> Like, Jacob's just like, I went off the ship, Shepard. I don't get to go anywhere. I got a job for you. You're going to the garbage planet. Or Miranda. Uh, let's see. Morden. Everyone, uh, I knew Morden. Yep, I knew it was coming. <laughs> Who doesn't like Morden? Also, I'm going to talk to Krogan's. I mean, come on. I'll bring Morden. He'll get on the Krogan's good side by explaining how he helped make the genophage. Sucks that Morden doesn't have an auto. Oh, you know what? Here, look, look. If you look at this, see, Garrus has another one. It also gets rid of his damaged uh, armor. I kind of like that. Miranda's is just a bulkier version with Scouter Vegeta thing on. And Morden, and Jacob doesn't have one. Oh I, for, oh, I forgot Kazumi has a red one. That's actually not bad. Huh. All right. God. You do realize, Jay... You have just set me up with the squishiest team in existence, right? Kasumi at least can cloak and run. This is the... Squ I'm going against Krogan, and you have given me paper mache teammates. Here we go. All right. I'm saving up for tech mastery, which is why my abilities are kind of weak. Now, what should I give Jack? Shockwave is fun. I'm doing that. Um, I'm going to say screw warp ammo. She's not going to be loyal for a while. I'm just going to dump. You usually get enough points to max out everything but one. Usually. Just in case I don't, I like to max this out. Uh, it only gives me jack stuff, though, so I'm not in a big hurry for that. Shockwave is really fun to use. Pull is also pretty good. Yes, this gives me squad warp ammo, but other people have those, too. So I'm not in any hurry. I'll do pull. I'll just do a nice, a nice, well-rounded. And Morden can't do anything. Cool. I actually don't like people using the Geth Plasma Shotgun. I just, I don't know. It's not brutal enough, you know? I want to give her the Eviscerator Shotgun. And I'm also going to give her the card effects. Why not? Morden? How about I give you also the card effects? And... 
I'm not using this. I'm not using the shuriken. Oh, that's right. You know what, though? I, if you're going to, if you want to do your job, get me some more sponsors. My Blitzball team only has... Who was the Blitzball sponsor I had? Who was the one person I accepted as the Blitzball sponsor? I don't even remember now. You you handle the contracts. I, oh, man, how could I forget that? Oh, no. I forgot the one sponsor that I accepted. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Eh, I'll, try, I'll, I'll think about it. I'm trying to remember who it was. Well, it's not Cerberus, I know that. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Pre-recorded. Annoying. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Well, you're the one that deals with that. I mean... You know what? When I hear when I hear this... Oh, here comes another thing where I feel old again. Jay, we were talking about that earlier. Where it was the idea of like when something came out in the year 2000. It's like, oh, that only came out in two, the 2000. Oh, no. That was 20 years ago. <laughs> but this reminds me... This planet reminds me of um, the junk planet in the, in the 1986 Transformers animated movie. That planet of junk that they land on. Look out position. Equipped for combat. Well, I heard someone say die, so there you go. Oh, and you get to see you get to see my first combat by a controller. I'm actually a little better. Oh, the nineteen eighty six Transformers movie is just a giant toy commercial. That's what it literally is. It starts the season three that everyone hates because like well, I'm not going to spoil anything, but things happen. What's the best way to introduce a new line of toys when you have a butt-ton of Transformer like toys toy. already? You have to get rid of them somehow. Oh, Wally's sad. All Pixar movies are sad. It's also sad when I think that Toy Story came out in, like, 96. Oh. Oh, hey. Won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I'd like to point out that out of the two people on my team, the one that gave their medical opinion was the one who's not a doctor. I don't think Morning cares. Ooh, how about some. Ooh. How about some nice medical goo? I'll slather it up on. I'll slather it on you for you for free. I, I, you tell me some information. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch! I, I just, I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Get rid of him. Again, this is, hey, this is Paragon. All right. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. You know, now that I think about it, was the sponsor the Alliance? It might have been the Alliance. I'm still fine with that. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there... They know what's going on. What's Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Oh, that's mean, but accurate. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. 
If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. What a paragon, right? Funny. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation. So, again, this game takes place in like a shady part of the galaxy. And look at the settings we've had. A prison ship. And now we have a planet of junk with Krogan and people over. Like this, the settings in this are just so much grittier, but more interesting. Here, enjoy. Yeah, yeah I got it. Ah, excellent targeting. <laughs> what? I like how he celebrated when he died. He's just like, woo! <laughs> I love this game. Also, what a terrible cover job he did. Plus, I love this pistol, by the way. I've lost shield. Ow! Alright, I'm being a little impatient now. Oh, and that's why I like Shockwave. Remember one of the things I loved about the first game the most was the, the ragdoll effect sometimes? This game has it too. I think it's toned down a bit. But stuff like Shockwave is fun. Speaking of that, Jack, would you like to, uh, you know what? Pull him. Fly, bitch. Whee! <laughs> huh. Oh, there's someone else. Oh, don't get, okay. You know, uh, well, they have shields, so I can't do that again. Guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> oh, look at that. Um, not as good as the last one, Jack. But you tried. Oh, that's a nice shockwave. Nothing can stop you. Whee! I'm just helping him have fun and relax. This has got to be tense. They're on a junk planet with a bunch of Krogan like crazy things. I'm just having him, you know, it's like a bouncy house. Do, do the shockwave again. All right, let's get into position before I take a rocket to the face. Nope, oh, that was a missed one. Yeah, yeah. God, using a controller is so much better. Oh, well, I think that actually killed him. He wasn't dead, and the, I think the pole, the pole does, like, I think a slight amount of damage. So, running low on it. I'm going to switch. Forget what I said about being a paper mache team. We are, we are killing these people. It's because of all our abilities. We're stripping off their defenses and then just killing them. Jack. Oh, well, that didn't work. Well, it, look, I will be the first to say that a mouse has better aim controls. It does. It's more accurate. Oh, I forgot. He, oh, Cryo is so brutal. I love it. I don't use it, but he can. But I'm, I've used controllers. And there, there, there's, the, there's the paper-thin defenses. But I've used controllers for shooters for so long, I can't go back to it. The problem isn't the mouse. It's the keyboard. That's the problem. Nope. I just, I can't use my fingers well enough to use a keyboard to move. I, I just can't. And I explained this to someone, I think in a decent way. When you're using a controller and you have to use a face button to, to do, use an ability, right? Like Y button in this game. You can't aim and hit Y at the same time, right? You have to like aim real quick, hit Y and then move your thumb back. On keyboard, it's reversed. You can still aim, but you can't move if you have to move that finger off to hit a button. And I'm just not used to that. I'm used to being able to strafe to control my aim when I have to pick my finger off the button, off the analog stick. I'm, I'm just not used to doing the reverse. I'm going against years of conditioning here. Just the thing to help. Jack, I think you want to have some fun here. Ah, oh, well, he died. <laughs> Never mind.
Did I curve it? Wow, I think that just hit him directly without homing in. I think I messed it up and it still hit him. I got lucky. Mount Deploying Lots. Incineration tech. Yay, I win. Krogan buddy. And is this one voiced by Michael Dorn? Is this Worf Krogan? I think it is. You are different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Seven what? Is a week old? Now that I hear him, I know, I know that he voices the Krogan that's on Tachanka that's arguing with Rex. I know he voices that Krogan. But I think he voices this one too. And he changes it slightly and the muffling sound from his helmet makes it sound different enough. I think, I think this is him. I know he does the other one. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. It's a little confusing. But Glass Mother, you know, is probably the, the obviously the tank he was made in and the water voice in the water. Hmm. So now we have the second time that someone is making Krogan and it never turns out well for us. We need a nuke. We, we need another nuke. We need another nuke and we need another Ashley to sacrifice herself to set it off. That's what we need to take this place out. I'm going to, I'm going to radio Anderson for an, another Ashley, and another nuke. Gyro control. Oh, or how about I get out my new Steam controller and use a trackpad to aim? Oh no, that sounds like another. F oh no, remember early, uh, earlier I had the idea of some kind of goal. If I reach some kind of goal, like a new follower goal or sub or whatever, I was going to maybe uh, stream whether on YouTube or on VLC player. I was going to stream my first ever YouTube video I made in a Let's Play, and it's going to be really stupid sounding and bad. Another one could be, what if I tried to play a game where I have to aim with a Steam controller? <laughs> Ew. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Control group, failed test? I don't know, but I am not perfect. I don't think I'd want to play through the entire series like that, especially since Mass Effect is a game that requires a mod where you can use an Xbox controller. I don't think the mod for Mass Effect can be used with any other controller, and if it could, I don't think you can remap the buttons, which might not work right. If I were to do something like that, like maybe for channel points or something stupid like that, uh, I would have to be playing a game where it actually has a controller ability already, and I can actually like map it properly, which unfortunately Mass Effect doesn't. Andromeda might. A three doesn't. Because again, I'm pretty sure the mod is specific to an Xbox controller. That is why you can't remap it. Because you can't remap the Xbox. Well, you can now, technically, I guess. Elite controller. Oh, oh. Uh, not sponsored by a Microsoft Elite controller, but boy, this is, is this part of the stream where I talk about how good the Elite controller is again? Um, not only is it falling apart, but now it randomly has my left stick pushed forward slightly which is fun, and then I was playing Overwatch, and the right trigger got stuck all day. It isn't doing it now for some reason. Just just, just the best $150 controller ever. Alright, that's, that's it for my sponsor segment. 
Uh. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program. Trying to escape Genophage effects? Escape. Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. Hmm. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the Genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain. Likely irrelevant. Appears Okir has had no success. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Yeah, you know it's bad when the shipping cost more than the controller. The controller was five bucks, but the shipping was like eight or nine. Rough stuff. I like it. And Jack likes Krogan. What a surprise. Her, her and Grunt are going to get along great. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. I'll give you that one. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Well, I'm you can do the same. Prefer to avoid close quarters combat. Yeah, I know how you feel, Morden. I am as squishy as you. Um, I mean, using the Steam, con having some like some kind of goal or setup for channel points, even maybe where it's like, I'm gonna play the game for ten minutes with a Steam controller now. That's not a bad idea to try. That could be. That's actually a use for a Steam controller. Is put it like at ten thousand ch channel points, and it's like. For the next 10 minutes, okay, I'm out in the middle of nothing with no cover. Cool. Mm. Mr. Krogan, help me. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, well, he's gone. The only, only let me pause for a second. The only issue with that is having to sync both controllers at the same time. I don't know if that's going to work with certain games. I know it doesn't work with this one. You know what? I'll tell you what. I will experiment with it. I'll see if I can get the Steam Controller to work with the mod on here, and then I might put it in. You know, you know what? You're right. Let's make it 25,000. <laughs> Did I just... Was one of them standing directly behind the other? I heard a death noise, but he was still standing there. Oh, good. I'm making it 25. We do need to, that's something else, Jay, we need to think of ideas for. Not just sub badges and stuff, but channel point ideas. Because let's face it, the standard channel point ideas are a little black. Especially since I don't have an emote. Uh, it should just be right at the bottom. It, where it says, like, send a message on the chat. It's the thing in the bottom left, like a little circle. I haven't changed the icon yet, so it's still just called channel points. I can call it whatever I want. Right. I'll change it to something. Well, the thing is, I don't have a webcam. A lot of ideas re revolve around a webcam because it proves you're doing it. Like uh, Hazel, who streamed Pokemon last night, she has a thing where, like, for like uh, three thousand points, she'll chug like half of her energy drink she has with her for the stream. Stuff like that. What good does that do? Like, I don't, I don't have a webcam. I could just fake it. Be like, oh wait, hold on, let me drink half my drink now. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> The fun part is being able to see it. Or some people are like, oh, I'll do 10 push-ups. That'd be annoying, because then you'd have to tilt your webcam in some weird direction, but... Trouble incoming! Can't hide from me. Ready to die. Krogan, coming at us. What, what game is it? Kind of curious now. I just destroyed my own cover that I was kind of using. Okay. 
Jack, I will help you. God, the Krogan just won't die. Okay, well, that was the best incinerate ever. Whew. You know, I got so used to fighting regular humans, I kind of forgot how tough Krogan are. Oh, no. Well, I can tell you right now, whatever happens isn't going to be that bad. <laughs> I'll think of something. Oh, uh, Jack? Oh, I thought she, like, leaped onto nothing. Jack, what are you do what, what are you doing? <laughs> He's super acrobatic. That's why I got her. This fight's going a little better than it normally does. I mean, a fight with a bunch of Krogan, it, it's usually pretty tough. Aha, I saved my little guy. Oh, one more? Okay. Just one more Krogan. Uh, there will be no singing in my streams. Um, it's not, not going to happen. There are certain ideas that people have, like stuff like that. It's, it's never going to happen. Or you know what? I should be saying that. How about this? A hundred thousand points. I will sing one line of a song. Oh. Oh, that was brutal. I didn't have to shock him off the platform. She shot him off the platform. Why are there so many Kro Are there supposed to be this many Krogan? What the hell is happening? I'm not doing Disney because I don't feel like getting sued. Also, I'm running out of bullets. Praise the future, everyone. I died and woke up two years later and found out I have to have bullets again. Thing is, if, if you're bad at singing, then it becomes a funny thing, right? Oh. Oh, there we go. But then, if, but then if you're good at singing, it's almost like a fun thing to do. I'm just, I'm bad, but not in a funny way. You know? It, there's no point. Oh, that was a good hit. <laughs> Did you hear that? I love Morden. Enjoy. That creepy voice saying something like that. Coming from behind me like that, too. Alright, he's getting a little too... Never mind, you beat me to it. Did he fall off? No, he didn't. Oh, now he's dead. His shields are down. Well, his, shield, his armor's down. I can't do that either. I literally can't do an accent. Maybe a different kind of voice, but I can't do an accent. I can like when M was telling me to do a Scottish accent on my stream, or Australian. She wanted me to do Australian. I was like, no, that's okay. We don't, we don't need that. My voice doesn't have a lot of range. That's why I can't sing either. See, I'm one of those people that... You know how pe some people do voice acting? Now, I, I am not comparing myself to these people. They're way better than I am. But uh, pe there are a lot of people that do voice acting. And they just use their own voice. Like Claudia Black. Great voice. But every time you hear her in a voice acting role, she only does her voice. And you know why? Because it's good enough to just be that voice. But there are people that can do a million voices too. I can't do either. Where am I going? <laughs> Why am I walking this way? Ooh, I get to bypass. Uh, candy. Top. Door. Candy. So we got top, top and door. And that circle. And sort of, there's the thing. And which one was the top? And that was door. And then the fork thing. I'm just reading the instructions on it, all right? I I can't help what the instructions call them. Our 
Oh. Stop it, goddammit! Where's Tadora and her personal guard? That doesn't really look like blood, does it? It almost looks like... Like he was holding a big jar of, uh... Like, jelly, and it just got shot and exploded. And then he passed out. That's a... That isn't a great-looking effect. Ooh, sniper rifle. I'll take it. Which none of us can use. Yeah, there. I am stuck now. I have now stuck stuck myself. I am stuck. I will go this way. I mean, if you can only do one voice but do it really well, and it ends up being your main voice. I mean, pff, why not? You literally get paid just to use your own voice and talk. I'd do it. This looks like a place I should be fighting people right now. Die box. I took out their cover for future, for future fighting. Ah. I need cover. Get in cover. Stop running into it. Okay. Ow. Oh, there, there he goes. Look at him go. He landed on his head and then got shocked by my droid. He's still alive. He's still... Okay. I take back that previous statement. He is very dead. <laughs> he just got shot by incendiary... I think he just got shot by an incendiary shotgun round. Except we don't have incendiary rounds. I think he got shot by a shotgun and hit by incendiary at the same time. Ow. I mean, it's better than I can do. I live in the South, too. You know, I've never been able to do a Southern accent. And I've lived in the South most of my life, technically. I mean, if you can make your voice go deep enough and sound like that, I, I can see that. The George, uh, the George Takai thing. Oh, all right. What just happened? What just happened? Oh. Oh. Her her jar of jelly got exploded like the other guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, it was going after Morden. That was pretty cool. Whee! You know what? You want a rocket, huh? I'll give you a rocket. I'll give you a rocket with the proper menu. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Fire. Okay. <laughs> Did the same thing. I hit his buddy instead. <laughs> Morden. He really doesn't like Morden. What the? Why did it make me aim down there? And go. Would you die already? Without Jack's ability to crowd control more and do more damage, I'm I'm not really killing anyone. No, no, no! You don't get to live. Excellent targeting. Why? Thank you, Morden. Thank you. Rockets. I. I'm not quite sure what just happened there. I think a cryo might have hit because it looked like he cryo exploded. I think he got hit by a cryo and a rocket. We are double. We are doing good against these people. It's a nice combo attacks. We're getting some chrono trigger moves in here. Dual techs. Why are you still dead, Jack? Get up. Get up. Where did her arm go? Eh, it looks a little uncomfortable. Okay. I wish dual techs came back, by the way. I love the idea of like a old school RPG with dual tech type stuff. Like, so depending on who you have in your party, depends on like what you can do. 
fun. Oh, I get to hack. And I don't have to use the keyboard, which means I have more control. Which is funny coming from me because I've never liked the D-pad on the Xbox controller. I am stuck. There we go. I should not be looking at chat while I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, money. I stole it from the Krogan. Or the Mercs. We'll call it, we'll say the Mercs. They don't need money. It's ill-gotten money. Why is Jack still dead? <laughs> I think Jack is just dead. Uh oh, we're, we're, we're doing we're doing a Nuzlocke. We're doing a Mass Effect Nuzlocke. Jack is Jack is dead. Speaking of that, Nuzlocke starts on Saturday. Yay! Wouldn't that, oh, that'd be such a lame combat if I did that. If someone did a thing where I had to use a Steam controller and I used it on Pokemon. <laughs> Like, look, I'm playing a game with a Steam Controller. It'd be nice if Jack came alive. I was still on the fence about whether I wanted it to be a randomized Nuzlocke or just a Nuzlocke. I think I'm going to do Randomizer, which will make it a little more difficult, probably. But I'm not going to randomize everything. If I did a Randomizer-only playthrough, I'd randomize move sets and all that stuff for fun. This, I'm only randomizing Pokemon and items that you find. That's it. Am I doing move sets because that's too random? I don't want to run into a Mewtwo that has, you know, super powerful move. I might turn legendaries off too. I'm, um, yeah, I'm a little 50 50 on that. Yep, Emerald. You know you can tell when I'm looking at chat and trying to like do three things at once because I'm not fighting at all. I'm just sitting here like shooting like that. I'm just like doop, doop. The only the only thing I'm gonna do is, for obvious reasons, if I end up with three Pokemon as my starter picks that literally have no attacks, I can't win. So the only way I'm going to reset it, I will have to reset it, is if I get like, you know, a Metapod, a Kakuna, and a Magikarp or something. I literally can't win. You know what, Jack? I'm just going to get you up. Oh, look at this. This guy's having fun. He has the high ground. Get down from there. Ow. Technically, well, Buffett can win. So, unfortunately, if I if I would get, like, Magikarp, Metapod, and Buffett, I have to take the Buffett. Because <laughs> it can actually win. Oh, he got down. Taking heavy fire. All right, Jack. I've had enough of you. Where is she, anyway? Like, where, where, is that going to spawn her up here, or is she going to just have to run back up? What, what am I going to do? Take Magikarp with Splash? Here, enjoy. Enjoy. Are you back here, Jack? Where is Jack? I spent stuff to get you up. Where'd you go? I... What the... That actually legitimately uh, uh, spooked me a bit. <laughs> All right, then. The only biotics can cloak. Oh, that Turian got messed up. No, not Jack. I swear you better get up after we're done. Okay. Well, that's sad to look at. Um, unfortunately, the, the the squishiness of my of my team is starting to finally show. I really don't want to die. Oh. I'm just picking people off one at a time. 
Morgan will be fine. Maybe. Like oh. <laughs> He's just slumped over the cover. Oh. What happened there? There was some kind of explosion. Yep. I walked. I literally. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Internally and externally. Okay. Woo. Well, I did it again. I did it again. No, I didn't save. You know why? Because my emote's not ready yet. Twitch. I can't... I can't get any shots in. No. Oh, I want to kill him. I did I did damage to him. I actually... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do, do, do. Oh, now he's behind the other guy. Kill him. Kill him, please. Just someone die. Oh. Wow. DD Plate, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, welcome. Ah, oh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> My shepherd is very, um, di distract distractible. All right, there's a lot of rockets here. Is he dead? I think he died. Cool. Go. No, he didn't die. All right. You know, I would get my teammates up, but I'm afraid they're just going to die immediately. Oh, go little droid. Blitzball. Sorry. I need to name him the proper name. <laughs> he just, he's just killing him back there. Go Blitzball. He's just... Dis okay, well, he's dead now. Ah, I can put you through walls. Get him. Yeah. Just been busy with work. Oh, hopefully, if you've been busy, you've been busy with something good. Am I going to steal more money? I am. And I, Oh, wow. They just left the safe open, didn't they? Hey, and they're... Oh, at least, they, at least they're alive again. I don't have to bring them back. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing at that. Why is it? Why is it when I play a game like this, I hear that and it's just like someone's death scream, and I just laugh. I'm preparing for my psycho playthrough. That means I'm gonna have. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does this game have the ability to give the drone? I did not mean to do that. Undo. Does this game have the ability to give drones missiles? Well, it has attack, electric shock. Oh, it doesn't. The missile ability is in Mass Effect 3. That would be perfect for Jet Shot Mark 2, the missile. But unfortunately, this one just has an electric attack. Well, that's a shame. Well, hey, that means in Mass Effect 3, he will learn Jet Shot. All right, I have a full team with me this time. This fight isn't going to take... Okay, all right. I, I immediately regretted doing that. <laughs> It'll be fun when I'm not super squishy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no Albed Sykes. I should have left them at home when it blew up. Why did I save them? I knew it would just bring me nothing but trouble. You know what? Or at least Nimrook. I could have left Nimrook on, I could have left Nimrook on, in home. I didn't have to save him. Fire. 
And yeah, I get that with the equipment. Luckily, I was in a position where like I've been putting off getting a new computer for years. So I was able to get a nice, like a decent setup that works well enough. I mean, I am playing a game that's 10 years old right now, but still. Also, um, my internet provider in this area finally got decent internet speed upload. Upload was always... Comcast is notorious for bad upload. It's like there are inter people that get internet where it's like, you know, like 300 down, 300 up or something. Or like 100 down, 100 up. I had like 50 down and 3 up. They always screw you on the upload. So I had to push my download way past what I need just to get the upload speed. But it seems to be working, so... Oh, well, my team's dead again. Hey, the Ronsos have three Ronso fangs. You know, I have actually... That is the one Star Trek series I have never seen, is the original. Or did it age great? Age very well, so I kind of stayed away from it. I should watch it, though. It's only two seasons. Go Blitzball! Well, Blitzball's dead. I mean, I've, I've seen all of them. I, I, the only thing I haven't seen is Discovery Season 2. I watched Season 1. It's okay. I've seen Voyager through like five times. Voyager was my first Star Trek, so I like... I, I, I get that I like Next Generation and Deep Space Nine better in terms of like characters and story and plot, but Voyager was my first Star Trek. So, you know, I'm always going to kind of like it. I ha and I also ha I handpick my next generation episodes when I rewatch it. Cuz there's some there's some ones in there that are kind of, you know, meh. <laughs> like any Star Trek, the first couple seasons can be a little hit or miss. Well, I, I, um, I tried to practice stream on my old PC. Yeah, it tried to explode. Literally. Like, you should have heard it. My, my computer, it was just like a, let me see. It was like a, it was like the CPU was just on fire. I went a little over budget on my PC, um, because I wanted to get a good CPU. Just, just a little over budget. You know what? It'll last forever. Before someone tells me it won't, it will. It'll last forever. My old computer was 10 years old. This one's going to last even longer. I'm tired of fighting by myself. Yeah, first season of Next Generation is a little rough. There's some decent ones in there. And then there's some that are just like, why? I mean, season two is, is very hit or miss. Season two has some great episodes, but also some ones that are just kind of forgettable. Ooh, ooh, nice hit. I mean, come on, season two has Measure of a Man. That's a great episode. For being a sci-fi show in, like, the late 80s, that was a great episode of, like, artificial intelligence rights and stuff. It was really good. Also, I know slightly cheesy, corny acting is part of Star Trek. It's just its thing. But I don't know if I can take William Shatner. You know what I should be doing is saving the game. Please, Twitch, get my emote, pro, uh, get my emote in here so people can spam it. So I'm not stupid enough to not save it after two hours of playing. Oh crap! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I love Shockwave. It's just fun to watch. You know what? I think he needs to chill out and follow. All right. 
and now Morden is trying to kill him. Bzz. Man, my drone does no damage. Not difficult. Yeah, that's true. Did I look after my last one? Mm, okay. Oh, Morden. Oh. You're dead again. Where is... Where is Jack? Is she up top? Probably where I should be. Yeah, using a shotgun at long range. Jack, please. There you go. I'll do it for you. No sweat. That that didn't hit him, did it? <laughs> hit, the, hit the wall. Go blitz ball. I I can't. Oh, there we go. Good, you knocked him into my field of vision. I'm missing a lot, aren't I? I can, I, Jack, I can't do that until three. They didn't add the shooting off people's heads until three, which I like. It's a nice little pop. It's very satisfying. Samara or Jack? What am I, what am I, okay. Oh no, 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 not again. No, no, it happened again. And I can't save the game. Oh, really? This is how it ends, huh? This is how it ends. I'm going to lose progress because I can't save the game and I'm stuck in a wall. Mm. Well, um, how far back is the autosave? That doesn't tell me anything. Um, I think it's about 10 minutes ago. That's not horrible. I, uh, maybe Jack. Oh, if Jack, never mind. Well, you know what? If my teammates kill them, maybe I can save it. Go, my teammates. Kill them. I can't see anything. All right. Well, Morden just took a good shot. Guys, I can't I can't help you. Kill him. I heard one person die. Boy, what a game this is, right? I'm just... I'm just uh, wait, Morden. Morden's going to die. Wait. Wait. I can almost use my drone. I, I, if I can just see someone, I saw someone for a second. Go, go drone, be free. Be free. <laughs> and they're both dead. All right. Well, <laughs> loading it is. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that was about 10 minutes ago. All right. Yeah, I'll turn up like, you know how in Dragon Age Inquisition or all of them, um, there's friendly fire on harder difficulties. It'd be like that. I just turn friendly fire on and then she shockwaves me out. Oh, I lost 10 minutes, which means if I actually concentrate on the fighting, it'll probably only take five minutes. All right. Okay. This isn't too bad. Oh, man. I mean, I've been meaning to watch... Um, I recently watched some of my favorite Next Generation episodes. And not that long ago, I rewatched the better Star, um, Star Trek Voyager episodes. Meaning, like, pretty much only like five or six episodes out of the first three seasons. And then a decent me. amount of the rest. But I've been meaning to rewatch Deep Space Nine. You know, I have a new, like respect for Deep Space Nine. I used to hate it. But after watching it, it has some, it has like one of the best story arcs in the series. Because it's just a giant war that takes place over the course of like five seasons. I love stuff like that. <laughs>